In this video, we are going to discuss GSM protocol for mobile communication. So let's see what is GSM. As you can see here, GSM stands for Global System for Mobile Communication. It is the most widely used mobile communication protocol. It was developed in 1980s and since then it has spread all over the world, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia. However, US uses a different set of GSM protocols. It uses a different frequency. All the other countries, continents, they are using 1800 MHz, but US is using 1900 MHz. So what does that essentially means? It essentially means that if you have a mobile set that uses a GSM protocol that works in Europe, that is, it is using 1800 MHz, then it will not work in US because there the GSM set needs to use the 1900 MHz protocol. Every GSM set has a SIM card. SIM is Subscriber Identity Module Card. Each SIM card has a unique number associated with, with it so that the network can identify. It is something similar to a IP address that a TCP IP model gives to all the workstations that is attached to it. So a GSM mobile will have unique address which we call the SIM card. So if you have a SIM card with you, you just put it inside a GSM mobile set and you can just start using it. So this international standard works in Europe, Australia, Asia and Africa, but it does not work in the US. So in this video, we have seen what is the GSM protocol and how it is used all over the world. In the next module, we are going to discuss about the CDMA.